Okay, so we'll end it with part three. Uh, good people, welcome back to part three of Horizon Forbidden West. Gosh, this is this game is fantastic. I think I'll put 30 minutes in this one, 30 to 40 minutes. It just depends. Um, I'm, I'm willing to go 20 minutes just to end it because we got two solid hours for the first two parts. And if the third part is cut short, so be it. I'm not going to mind. Yeah, I kind of... I kind of expected one of the Venom. I'm thinking of Venom, like from Spider-Man. That's weird. But yeah, I figure one of the Venom snakes, until we get a proper name for it, was alive. That's terrifying, though. All right, let's kill this thing. Slitter Fang. How appropriate. Wow, that's terrifying. Change re... Okay. Okay, it's getting closer. Probably should hurry up this up. Can the acid go through the rock? Oh, yeah, that's convenient. Oh, gosh! Okay, yep, it definitely has fighting it. Run! <laughs> That's it! Yeah, nice, thank you! Let's freaking go! Let's go, you big ugly snake! Yeah! Crank up strike! Yeah! Yeah! There! The cancers are exposed now. I should aim for them. I guess I'm the predator now, you stupid snake. I knew a snake. He was an OG. He kept me waiting. Pretty dope music, though. Oh, that's pretty dope. Let's freaking go! So we have to bless you for the animation department. I don't like that stinger right there. That seems like a kill shot. I gotta take this thing down fast. Clearly! <laughs> Where my focus might find something I can use around here. Ooh. Ooh. For real, for real, for real! Oh gosh! Mm. Ah. Oh, you're a douchebag! Ah! What's worse than a venom snake? An electric venom snake. Oh, and let's see what what do you say you got? Ugh. Eat arrow. Really? Sonic blast. Let's go. You're in the box already, and you're gonna die like any other machine. Seriously, that's appropriate battle music. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate! Oh, 
Oh, okay. What's that over there? Ah! What is this? All right. I like to you to say hello to my little god. Yeah! Suck it, bro. Ah, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. It's dead. Finally. Hey, what you earned that kind of like one-liner? Respect. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. You know, he could have took him. I mean, he could probably platform and all that. I mean, he's kind of like a ride or die with you already. <sighs> snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? There's my one-liner. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Alright. Man. The uh, machines are definitely getting bigger, but considering I fought a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird, pretty much uh, the essential of a T-Rex, and a giant freaking bird, yeah, I think we have uh, established that machines are getting bigger and more terrifying. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the Blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? No. Be because we have like 60 plus hours to cover. Okay. I should find a server room. All right, George the man, you obviously have top billing with the music. Well done, sir. Well done on you. Yeah, but it's not here. It's clearly not here. Ah, the satisfaction of killing a killer robot never with the power there was still satisfying. Everything about that moment was kind of He's top tier. Here. Okay. Oh my gosh, it is. Kind of surprised. <laughs> Thou shall not steal. Super advanced terraforming system. Clever. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. Oh, okay. Thanks. Well, that's a good salute. Against hackers. Of course they destroy the copies. Aloy? How the heck did you get here? The goddess. There is no goddess. Ooh. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. Nothing but a fake. Calm down, girl.
Yeah, this is a Aloy who's pretty much gun ho and pretty pissed off this time around. Determined. sometimes you know that's a fact but it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin <laughs> the thing is um there's going to be more of that i'm out of leads Farl. but i i have to keep searching and fast and whatever risks i have to take i will and it doesn't make sense to have someone with me someone who might get hurt this is on me Farl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Marad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... Come on. It might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. Okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. I bet you do. Always full of ideas. Oh, wow! He's not used to riding it! <laughs> Love it. Oh wow, we're back in Meridian and Horizon Forbidden West. We spent like 20 plus hours in this, or eh, I guess 10 plus hours when you really think about it. But still! Savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Oh, Blameless Murad, or whatever his name was. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashane, that makes two of us. Okay. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something okay. happened at the spire. Whoa, what happened? Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. Uh, that's a fact. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that, we left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Yeah. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. Me again. Aloy, seriously, use Varl. He has a focus. You can teach him. Catch him up to speed. I'll stay back until you're finished looking around. This is clearly a, a PS5 version. I mean, look at this. 
you of me? That's you. No. Oh my gosh, there is. Um. Okay then. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong, especially when my job's only half done. I mean, you're doing the best you can. I mean, you just found out about the new threat. Oh, hi! <sighs> Ooh, could use an ale and a bath. I'm uh, totally unprepared for the situation. I imagine you are. Remnants from the battle with the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Yep, because of all the allies, new guns, and pretty much potential allies that we e equipped like from... Huh? Well, people did die. Only those who fell in the battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. I wonder if Neil the Bandit Killer is still around. I imagine he is. I imagine he's not dead. All those people we saw for the side missions and errands that we spent dozens and dozens of hours, I know they're alive. So, most likely we're going to see... Yeah, it's convenient that pretty much besides Aaron and Varl... Sure, I'll go up there. Let's see what's up here. I didn't think we'd be back in Meridian. Well, I mean, we're going back to the Forbidden West again, but... Seriously, I didn't think we'd be coming back to Meridian anytime soon. But it makes sense to do this lead. Just anyway, 17 minutes. Go. Cool. Yeah, we can do this for 30 minutes. A bad feeling about this. Yeah. I don't know. Looks the same as before. Yeah, but Hades, after Silence Lance, which intentionally did it, once Aloy struck, uh, stroke it with Silence Lance, it just transported or got rid of Hades. It didn't kill it. It just basically pushed him into another save point, in a sense. Or transfer his data. I could pull this thing out of my house. What? Should mesh in complete. Yep. Well, that spear's gone. No, he wouldn't. He would. He couldn't. He absolutely did. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. But... Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's right. It's the after credits. When when the people went to investigate the spear, then it transported Hades' data, and then once it transported Hades' data, and then that's when Silent Light <clears throat> let's begin and go into the Horus unit. Oh no! Can jump to that ledge behind me. Oh. Yes, you can. There you go. Yeah, now you have a really much appreciation for the first game because it sets up so much. How goes it, Hammerhead? It sets up so much and all the payoff from the first game, it, it just makes it's a natural 
evolution in terms of well, all oh right, the polecaster. And a heave, and a ho! How did I not lose health from that? That's kind of interesting. Alright, whatever. Oh, I can make that. I like that first time. No. How to cross over to the spire. Well, obviously the pole caster. Handy tool. Should be able to get up there now. Yes, we do. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. But it looks like he tricked me. Again. He transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Because he's a where he sent it. I can track him down. Oh, the transmission note at the top will tell me. True, but you have to remember it's well, one thing he's a seeker of knowledge and he will do whatever he can, even doing the world like Ted Faro, to gain knowledge. I mean, he did trick you multiple times and he manipulated through the campaign. I know he saved your life once, Aloy, but. Come on, there was a reason why you didn't trust him. And even the frozen walls were like, yeah, no, we don't trust him because he intentionally stole our he stole our stuff. And he stole and he was He broke sacred ground. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. I find it kind of interesting that we're climbing the tower that... Panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? I love that the thing that we didn't get to explore because we fully... We thought we killed it in the first game. And we're like Aloy too. I was like... I, we knew that Hades' data got transported to silence and it's in... And he's going to activate the... Or look like he's going to activate the Horus unit. Just after the after credits. But what we didn't know... or. Aloy didn't have the time because she had immediate concerns with the Blighted. She didn't have time to focus on this, but now she does. Nice jump. An elevator? Let's see. Nice. I bet it is. Engaging maintenance configuration. The whole thing is opening up. Wonder what the Karja will make of this. Seriously, these graphics are just like stunning. Of course, it's raining. Yeah. Well, Aloy, I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You rigged the lands to steal Hades. Yep. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't you one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? 
If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once you're angered my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll go find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. I can see why she's pissed, understandably. I love these two dynamic. It's the best part of the Horizon series. Yeah, you just got screwed over by Silence again. And basically he has a kind of like an AI that could destroy the world with the blink of an eye. Yeah, it, things are looking up. Things are pretty bad. Anyway. You went inside it and it transformed. Almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. Rockets. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. The tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Ard, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. All right, let's see what he looks like. And turns up. Ah! It's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I. Uth it. Vinasha. Quick, hey! Uh, hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Are they? Hello? Try it on. You earned it. That's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Yeah, 60 plus hours do, will do that. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. I hear that music sprinkle. Yeah, navigate to the care about. Oh, I am very. the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Hmm. Yeah, I remember those. Those are people we saw from. Um, it, I, I don't think it was Sundown. I think it was. It wasn't Meridian. It was where that kid was being used as a puppet to kind of like being led yeah i remember that side mission uh we had like a pretty much a warrior woman who we kind of like navigated and snuck the uh the, the kid and his mom 
because he was kind of like the king, and we snuck him over to Meridian for Save Haven. I remembered that. And yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I was like, you're that kid that we snuck with a mom while fighting a freaking huge machine to do that. And then the other ones was some guy, it was some ambush or something. Yeah, it, it's been ages, but those... And I did hear that musical compliment of like, of what we heard in the first game. Yeah, there were some, well, obviously this is a sequel, but you know. I'll be right here until you need me. I like that the first game, everything you did, site missions, are immediately a knowledge. Those characters you will not recognize if you haven't played the first game. When you play the first game, you're like, hey, wait, I remember you. Yeah, you were that side quest that I had to fight the huge machine to get you to Safe Haven over here. It just feels like all the stuff from the first game that you did. Yep. I saw it in. Get to see you again. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? Oh. You said it fine, Evan. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. Oh. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Yeah, you ain't wrong. Those Thunderjaws are freaking beasts to kill. Oof. But, they're fun to kill. Part of the Deathbringer we defeated. Oh my gosh, you're right. Just seeing the side characters from the first game just in this new graphics it kind of brings a tear to your eye. This machine What's... was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. Yep. Just reckon it's day, just we'll probably stop that. I just love that the first game is a knowledge barely, and Wait, could you say the sequel is relying too heavily on the first game? No, this is a proper sequel. All the stuff that we pretty much did 60 plus hours, include the Frozen Wilds, it just feels like it paid off because Aloy clearly made an impact on these people because she forced them to adapt, change, for the benefit of not dying. Ah, Sun King! See no, I guess, concubine or harem. The sculptor wanted something even bigger. Twice the size. Covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's oh. still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce, in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Oh! The auto-dialogue! It's just more... Oh my gosh, it's more fluid in terms of the animation. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know. My father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. 
but none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. Yeah, the 13th Sun King really made things very tough for everybody. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. I love how the animation is not like Bioware awkward it was in the first game. I, I get it. They didn't have the budget. And they were just trying a new IP. But now they have the budget. Look at this. They... I'm watching a movie. It's just more interactive and more cinematic in the best way possible. How? What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Ah. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No, not in this case. Vashav is my cousin, nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Good to know. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him... I will. Seriously, I am watching a movie. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yeah. Yes, well. I'd have to get married for that to happen. Oh. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Yeah, don't you have like a royal, like a royal spoon to hold all the time? Oh my gosh, Ava, you are crushing on her. You're thirsty for Aloy. We knew that for the first game. You are thirsty. Yeah, Aloy must be doing good if he if she can basically have royalty be chasing her. Or, or as they like to call her, he's an Amazon chaser. If you see that trope. Yeah, he's an Amazon chaser. Seriously, most of the guys and girls are chasing Amazon. Or, Amazon. Well, what do I say? Uh most of the guys and girls from the first game, and I I imagine this game too, are chasing freaking Aloy. They are all crushing on her. Even Varro wanted a taste of Aloy. He was thirsty for Aloy in the first game. So was Eren. So much. I guess she's that... I guess people are that attracted to her that she basically is attracting royalty. What the actual heck? I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, 
I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But oh my gosh. To be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. Dude! I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? But long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Oh, oh my gosh, dude! Oh, there's just the emotional moments again! Or emotional choice. She's, he's literally put her in a spot. I mean, she didn't say no in the first game. <laughs> okay. Man, she looks... All right. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. Uh-oh. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Oh, I bet. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And a Sun Queen! Look forward to your return. Oh my gosh, he is thirsty for Aloy, if it wasn't obvious enough, but we knew that from the first game. But what the animation? Anything you need, Aloy. Please ask. Yeah, what you're asking for is a Sun Queen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Avad. It's time to go. I'm sorry too, Aloy. Farewell. Yeah, with the animation, you can honestly see their emotional reaction even more. Okay, well, clearly, clearly a thought, but we knew this from the first game. He, what, he subtly asked her out, but now he's just straightforward like, Hey, dude. Hey, girl. I, I want you. I want you. I want you to be my son, Queen. Stay with me in Viridian. I was like, okay, so he's, he's pretty much promoting, proposing marriage. Well, I mean, Aloy is of age. I mean, she's 18. How old is that? When you think about it, how old is he? He's got to be in his 30s at least, but nope, he, he he wants her. I don't know what she did. And I thought he was with Ursa, or he loved Ursa before, like they were dating. But nope, I guess that doesn't mean anything. Well, she's dead now, but still. Savior, I hope all is well with there, you. the workbench. Uh, before that, let's talk to the, you know, people I spent, like, hours and dozens of hours. Of course I'm going to talk to them. We have not found a save point. Like a manual save, once I think of that. Uthid, Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Good to see these guys again. Even though I- and yeah, Vanessa was the one voice actress. I I liked her character. I just didn't care for her voice actress. She seemed like she hasn't been in the game of voice acting that long. The other guy, yeah, he's what the? Did she just tap him? What the? Everyone's just standing awkwardly because of the motion cap. All right. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May <laughs> the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? 
I just fell asleep while you were talking. And that was good. How about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. Okay, I'm coming around. Even th she had now more experience considering the No, she was still her character was awesome in the first game, but it seems like the voice actress had more of a time to play as Vanessa. I, I forgot her name already, but anyway. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. I don't know. Me, Edaman's about to have a new brother, the way you guys are pretty much have belligerent sexual tension. Anyway. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but... Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> Dude, you're not followed anybody. You have a soft spot. Anyway. Well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Darn it, you're right. Oh, you're so... Yeah. Solid character. Ah, oh, bad. It's great to see these guys again. It just feels like your first game... It was. Where are my other side mission characters? All right, well, I think we can quit this, yeah. Because we put, like, close to 50 minutes. My gosh, this was... It's a solid sequel. But it was going against Elden Ring and God of War and Ragnarok. It had no chance to make Game of the Year. I hope it at least got nominated. If not, then it got... It got snubbed so bad. But I mean, it's going. It was going against God of War, Ragnarok, and Elden Ring. There's no way Horizon Forbidden West would have won, and it sucks. It really does suck because this is a proper sequel. But the first game got more acclaim because no one was expecting it. But yeah, what a great sequel. That's all I gotta say. I I know what improvements it's making. I can't wait to have like a verdict video when I get done with this. It's not going to be anytime soon. But of course, guys, leave that like, comment, or subscribe. Which one do you guys prefer? Horizon Zero Dawn or Horizon Forbidden West? I feel like people will lean towards Horizon Zero Dawn just because of its story. And this was Aloy's first foray compared to Forbidden West. But man, Forbidden West is no slouch. Well, anyway, guys, I will probably see you guys later today. And I'm all going to say is have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you at the next video game content. Have a good one, everybody.